be sure to check out my Patreon for weekly exclusive interviews, extra content on VV and Omi, and building generational wealth, as well as money management tips from experienced whales. Yo, what is going on, y'all? I'm Cavell Anderson, and we're back with another VV and Ecomi video. And here we're actually going to jump into the VV app where they're going to be actually breaking down um, basically the, the app and its purpose and some of these things and just some information that you may or may not have heard before. But there is definitely some information coming up that no one probably has heard outside of if you've been scrolling through Twitter. They're, like there's there's some gems. There's some gems throughout this um, throughout this interview that we're going to be checking out. So, yeah, let's just jump into it. Drop that thumbs up, subscribe and turn on notifications. And, yeah, let's get into it, y'all. So crypto collectibles and i always have to say this as well i i have to say that if you don't know it takes years to, like if you if you know what the licensing industry is like and the tech industry is like it takes years to accomplish certain things so when you hear information that was told to you three years ago sometimes it takes three years for this information to actually happen just like the disney partnership was from 2018 and we just now got that last year so this is how long these type of deals take. So when people say that this information is outdated, usually it's not. Most of the information is never outdated. It's just maybe been refined or, or, or tweaked in some certain ways. But the fact of the matter is this stuff takes a long time to actually make happen because, yeah, I mean, that's just the, the nature of the business. So, yeah, that being said, let's jump in. So that I can store my card, I assume. Yes. 100%. Very cool. So obviously we had CryptoKitties, and that's kind of the most famous iteration of this crypto collectible idea we also we have pepe cards and we have tron dogs and we have all kinds of stuff going on so those are all blockchain based projects are you we, obviously you're going to be able to bring those in because that would seem like a nice fit but are we also going to bring in the um you know tamagotchis of the world yeah absolutely that's that's our main goal with with the comi collect as you mentioned you know crypto the whole crypto collectibles craze has just has gone nuts you know we, as, as you mentioned we've seen so many come out now and they're all amazing products doing really really well um david has actually been in the licensing and gaming industry for 20 plus years along with his with his retail experience he's a mm -hmm. very very accomplished entrepreneur um and so he's been dealing with a lot of the very very big brands um you know from the likes of uh, sort of sanrio capcom Th these are the companies that he's been working with um throughout his career so he has uh, already very long and established relationships with these guys um and that's what we're working on right now to to really help these guys come into blockchain i mean they have uh, a plethora of digital assets available um, that, you know, right now just basically go out onto the internet and copy pasted sent around to everyone. But what we're really trying to do is, uh, you know, in the future, you'd be able to have your one of a kind, um, as an example, Star Wars or one of a kind Marvel characters. Um, I think this is this is really going to bring, um, you know, a lot of people into the into the blockchain space that who may not be this was three years ago. He said one of a kind Star Wars, one of a kind Marvel. This was three years ago. And we're just now getting both of these things. This this was three years ago, by the way. Just just so you know, like this this information has been out there. Like that's crazy. And it now. Um one of one of the other things we're really trying to do is with our app, Akomi Collect, um, is keep all of the technology behind the scenes. Um, the collectibles industry itself is massive. More than $200 billion per year uh, is spent on, on collectibles. Um, and I just, just want to give a quick little intro into collectibles because a lot of people who, who aren't really into collectibles don't know too much about it. Um, and when we're talking about collectibles, we're referring to like stamps or, or coins or you know little figurines. Um, and, and this is the industry that that's huge. Like Dave and I right now are in Japan at the blockchain, uh, Cho Japan blockchain conference. And, uh, you know, we went to the sort of the, the collectibles area of town and it's just crazy how many mm -hmm. collectibles are out there. So, um, the interesting thing about collectibles is that over the, over the decades, they have just evolved into almost every medium, you know, like you mentioned before the Tamagotchi, um, you know, people were collecting these, they collect the small toys, they collect badges. It's, it's a huge, huge industry. And now, um, thanks to blockchain, we actually have the ability to, to record this ownership of digital assets or, or in our case, digital collectibles. Um, so we are able to help um, this collectible industry transition into the digital space now. So it really is uh, another massive, massive area that's, uh, that, that, that's about to be um, hit. 
Uh, and so our goal is to bring a lot of these collectors from outside of the crypto space and obviously all the crypto guys mm-hmm. um, into, uh, into, into crypto collectibles. That's crazy. He's trying to bring all the people in the collectible space and the crypto guys into collectibles. I'd say mission accomplished. Like, but it's just the beginning still. It's still just the beginning. Like you have people leaving before the the broader spaces even jump like like really jumped off. Like people just this is why it's so important to do research and understand what you're investing in. Because people don't realize that this is we're just at the beginning. They they see Ecomi's results not realizing that, yo, this is like you're comparing this to old school businesses. This is the beginning of this technology, which means what they're doing right now as this technology advances. They'll be able to do things that you can't even think about right now because we have never seen it done before. There's going to be new companies who uprise and figure out how to do certain things with this technology that you were never able to do before. This is what these massive shifts in technology do to the world, like going from a world without computers to computers. These are pieces that anyone is able to put together if they take the time to just sit here and think like, yo, there used to be a world without computers. Then computers came and it changed everything. Computers used to be trash. Then it came a time where now you can get on the internet. You can access information. You can up- upload pictures, m- videos. Like things progress and change, and people are not realizing that this is the next level of progression for technology as a whole. And it's going to be insane. So, yeah, like literally, you have Elon Musk talking about putting Dogecoin on the moon. That tells you the difference. That, like the fact that the blockchain is more than likely going to be take it, going to be used on ships and stuff in the way in the future of course once they figure all that technology out but yeah more than likely the blockchain is what's going to be used on these starships or whatever that that allows us to eventually make ships like so yeah nice now when i was a a kid i used to play uh magic the gathering and obviously that's a collectible card game yeah, exactly now are we looking at any partnerships like that who, who are your partners already and who are you aiming for Mm-hmm. Yeah, so uh, the partnerships, what we are discussing right now is we have defined the Ecomi Collect into the five main categories uh, where we, number one, we cover the animations. So these are a lot of anime, for example, um, Naruto, Bleach, these will mm-hmm. probably come more. Hold on, what do you say? Hold on. I'm, I'm, I'm making a clickbait title right now, y'all, my bad. <laughs> example um naruto bleach these will mm-hmm. probably come more and then we have a movie content side with film you know which we talk to wanna sony universal and this is covering all their tv series and movies mm-hmm. and obviously we want to say so he said warner brothers universal who else you say and this is covering or and then we have a movie content side with film, you know, which we talk to one. So that, this includes Harry Potter, by the way. I'm pretty sure that's Warner Brothers. Uh, Sony. Unif- oh, he said Sony as well. This, and he said all of their movies. This includes all of their movies. So the, these, the Sony deal, the Universal and the Warner Brothers, this was back in 2018. The, he is literally confirming licenses that they had back in 2018. That's what, that's what's crazy. Like it, like. It's crazy. So they had Disney plus all of these back then. This 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 really solidifies the fact that I think they had Pokemon. How are you securing all this back then? Back then, how are you securing all this? First of all, and this is covering all their TV series and movies. Mm-hmm. And obviously, we want to bring things that's interesting into it. Then we have what we call the... He says, said it's covering all their TV series and movies. The classic characters, uh, which is cl- characters that you know um, when you're childhood, um, that's possibly Disney coming up type of uh, characters. And then we have gaming, which is basically from your online games or your PC, PlayStation games. And fifth one, which is basically artists. So we'll. PC and PlayStation games. I made a video yesterday speculating. And people say, oh, this is a PlayStation game. This is a um, PC game. I don't think it has anything to do with Ecomi. I mean, it may not have anything to do with Ecomi, but at the very least, it's going to, we more than likely are going to see those characters on Vivi. And he just confirmed that these, that's exactly the type of stuff that they're going after. It's Warner Brothers. It's a PlayStation and PC game. And I mean, yeah, 
I mean, everything, it makes sense if you actually understand the project. It makes a lot of sense. I also see the click sector is also going to work for a lot of artists who are very creative doing their art. Could be a street art, they're never able to com commercialize their artwork, and now they can put it through our Ecomi Collect to make it work for them. Mm, very, and very cool. Main, main thing about the Alfred Khan is a genius, by the way, but like because his his naming and titling things is just it's next level. Like he understands, he really understands because Ecomi Collect is trash. Ecomi Collect that name is terrible, but then you just say VV. Keep it simple. It works. It's just, come on now. Like you can't, can't beat that. The click business is that um, through blockchain, we can verify ownership, authentication, timestamp. And on top of that, most important is that we can make it how rare it is. Mm. So like you mentioned about Magic the Gathering, um, you have your common cards, your uncommon, your rare. So we'll have that type of uh, aspect into the collect sector and we also will be bringing out 3d animated um yo when he just started listing off that uh the rarities like you know the first time we heard about well well one of the first times i heard about the secret rare it was when um uh some type of mistake happened and then they gave away a bunch of secret rares because uh i forgot what happened but i think it was the was it the ultraman posters that might have been the first secret rare, and then you couldn't buy it anywhere. They just gave it away because they made some type of mistake. Um, and then then they started doing the buyable secret rares. But like back then, like that was just crazy. It was it was insane. Um, the the way that they went about doing secret rares back then, like it was it was a vibe. Like we've seen certain a lot of levels of progression throughout this company, and I, it, it's insane. It, it's like it's crazy when you think about the history. As of yesterday, we were discussing with a Japanese uh, film company about their character coming on board and they have a great asset of Jap he said yesterday they was talking to a japanese um like japanese film some about their characters coming on board so they were talking to they were in talks with japan back then so it actually is about time for us to start seeing some anime coming up here within maybe this year or next year hopefully um Cause yeah, this this it sounds about it, like this. It's been three years. It's been like, and we we've seen Sony. We've seen almost every other brand that he's listed for the most part. Like we we've seen Warner Brothers. We've seen Sony. We've seen Universal stuff. We've seen Disney. Everything else from 2018 we have seen now, except for anime. So that makes me believe that anime is coming soon. Company about their character coming on board and they have a great asset of 65 year worth of asset and how we utilize. Um, it could be a DVD, a CD cover, record cover coming on with animated on it and moves. Mm. So there, there are six animated, we're looking not at. anime. And just covering who are we talking to? Basically, we want to make sure that Ecomi Collect is at the go to place for the original content which what we mean is premium license content. Mm -hmm. So every aspect of it, uh, right now the space is very new. So a lot of the content providers are signing up MOU with us and understanding the technology behind it, going through their regulatory work with their lawyer and understanding what category do they fit this under at this stage, because it's not really just gaming or selling a physical product. Um, because the product that you each on are going to be crypto. And secondly, is that it's going to be also augmented onto our storage car, which we'll do. Should we do it? Yeah, we'll do it. Yeah. So we've got, um, yeah, what, one of the, the big, big things for us is that collectors love to, um, lo love to show off their, to, their, to their look at their you stuff, know, right? I'm just thinking like exactly. if I had a, a rare, let's say a star Wars picture, I'd want to have it on my wall so I could see it once in a while. Yeah, oh, look exactly. at this. Look at yeah, this. So, so that's is, you're holding I mean, the card. And so this is a Toki Doki uh, figure that we have put on as a demo. And you tap it, this is going into your mm. showroom yeah. and showcase things you have. You can pull it back Oops. forward mm. and basically. And the uh, idea is that uh, it works off. So the Ecomi Collect, it's not just another card that. Um, oh, just trying to turn it around so mm -hmm. everyone can see it. Here we go. That's great. Yeah. 
Yeah. So the whole tangibility side was really, really big to us. So obviously this is just a very early demo at this stage. Um, we plan to have a lot of these characters in 3D. Obviously this is just a what very early demo at this stage. What was that? What is that? I can't make that out. It looked like he, he scrolled away from it fast, like he wasn't supposed to show that one. Um, we plan to have a lot of these characters oh, in no. 3D, um, being able to d walk around or, um, uh, you know, do some kind of cool action. Um, he wants them to be in 3D to be able to walk around. Sounds like a metaverse to me. And we have a, lot, a really, really cool showroom feature as well where um, you're able to set up your virtual showroom. So let's say, for example, I own, you know, 20, 30 um, uh, of these digital collectibles. Um, and then I can set them up in my in my digital showroom um, and I'm able to, to you know, add objects to that and customize it whatever way I want. And then um, one of the co really cool things is that you can share that with anybody. So anyone else who has the Akomi Collect app, I'm like, hey, man, check out my cool showroom and, and look at the collectibles I've got create some real FOMO on, the, on these collectibles. So, you know, it's going to just, because that's what it's all about. You know, people, it's about the rarity, people going out and finding these collectibles that are that are rare. Um, as they So based on this, based on hearing them talk, I do believe that, um, well, I mean, it's obvious, but rarity, they, they, they put a lot into rarity and they wanted rarity to matter. But at the same time, like, because I've always had this thing with commons and secret rares, like certain commons, it's just, I feel like, I feel like from a collector's perspective, but then again, I'm not a collector, so who knows? Collectors may go by rarity, or collectors who want stuff from real world may want the comic book with the, you know, like the original covers of things. That that's always like you you don't you don't really dictate what someone wants because somebody could value the the regular cover so much that they buy up most of the supply, burn most of the supply, and make it one of the rarest. Like so. You never really know what someone is going to do, how much someone like people are willing to pay these millions and millions of dollars for these assets. So you don't know how a consumer is going to consume the content you created and expect it to be consumed in a certain way. But it doesn't always turn out like that. So that's something that people just don't know. We don't know what how people are going to collect these things. We just know that these things are look very, very valuable to us and they look collectible. They, they look like something that people enjoy collecting. Well, we know that people enjoy collecting them. So. Yeah. They've mentioned before that we do have um, uh, f uh, five different levels of rarity, starting from uncommon, uh, sorry, and going all the way up to ultra rare, um, which we sell at different price points ourselves. Mm -hmm. um, after that, they go into our secondary market. Um, and this is really where the value of the collectibles come in, because if there is, for example, like I mentioned, uh, we get a one off Star Wars character um, that one off Star Wars character, that's probably going to be like the uh, the what's that the Waba Fett, is that his name? Um, yeah, Waba Fett is the Pokemon, I think. <laughs> Bro, yeah, uh, I think it's Boba Fett. That, that, that's the most valuable one-off Star Wars piece, I think. Like, a little action figurine. That, that is uh, that, that we sell as an ultra rare, which will be for around about $550. As soon as that hits the collectible market, as an ultra rare, which will character um, that that is uh, that that we sell as an ultra rare, which will be for around about five hundred and fifty dollars. As soon as that hits the collectible market, so he, they, they they were planning a Star Wars drop. They were planning a Star Wars drop back then that they thought that would be about five hundred fifty dollars. I wonder if that's still going to come because if that happens and it's around that price point, like it'll that'll be late. it's worth what what anyone is is willing to pay for it and it will essentially go through an auction um and that's how these collectibles start to gain uh, a lot more value and a lot more price um yourself and you know probably a lot of people watching might be aware that i think it was a, a month and a half ago a crypto kitty sold for around 120,000 you know uh people are paying big money for these for these crypto collectibles and they pay big money for like collectibles in the real world right mm -hmm. now as well and so we believe that that is going to 100 percent transition into uh into the digital space as well that's amazing so yeah we're gonna end this one here it's a lot of content within this one and i don't want it to be too too much to digest but yeah it's getting it's getting it's getting exciting right now like they're talking about so much stuff like and to hear all these dreams and goals back then like i said i don't know if they would have got me on board back then i probably wouldn't have been able to understand it but now being in the project and seeing how much of this has actually come to life, like they're they're literally building out the vision that they had. They're they they. This is why I say this company is amazing. But let me know what y'all think. Be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications. And I will catch you all on the next one. Peace out, y'all.